You ready, Trent? Yeah. All right. Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Brian Peterson here. I've got one of my wrestlers here, Trent Munoz. Um, we're going to show you guys a, uh, a different type of penetration uh, for a shot. And I want to kind of briefly go over this. Uh, what is the difference between this kind of shot? We don't even really have a name for it. It's, it's more of like an outside penetration, but where you switch. So I'll, I'll try, to, try to talk about it. Let's, let's get into our basic penetration shot. So if I, if I have a partner who's square, um, usually what you're taught on your basics is like, let's say I hit a setup like a little uh, snap and then he reacts, right? Like I snap and he goes there, I level change. So they, what they normally teach you is to level change. And then if you're poised and you're ready to explode, you can explode from right here. You may have not, you can obviously rewind it. I took a very small step. Some people like to teach you take a big step and you penetrate down to go in for that double leg. Um, or maybe I'll take a little more shorter penetration. You notice I'm like here. I, I take my step there and I penetrate down to my knee. Okay, so that's your normal penetration. So when we do our drills, we're doing this move. You know, we're doing this knee over toe drill down the floor. You know, sometimes guys are, are like reaching out, pulling legs in, in their mind, that's what they're doing. Sometimes just elbows in, practicing core and balance. But that's a great drill and you need that. But this shot that we're gonna do right now is, I see mostly uh, international wrestlers using it. It's not the typical way it's taught in America for the most part. If you were to like pull all the wrestling schools in America, let's just say high school level, you're gonna get probably this movement. This is the movement you're gonna get. Okay, it's, it's pretty standard. Um, so they're gonna teach that penetration step, pushing off the back leg. If you're right-handed, you probably have your right leg in front. Um, what we're gonna do is actually have our left foot in front or do a switch step right before we shoot and we're gonna penetrate with our left leg, but it's still gonna be a righty shot, okay? So watch as I come in right here. Let's say I've got Trent's collar tie right here and I, and I had Trent, let's say this arm, this elbow opens and I see the opportunity. I'm gonna shoot with my left foot. When I shoot with my left foot, instead of doing like a sweep single like this, and you can move around Alex so you can get angles. And it's good, it's always good to move with the camera and make sure you're like close enough to see everything but not too far away as well. So I'm here. That's normally what you would see from a lot of people. Um, not usually right-handers, this would be considered a lefty single leg. You would step with your left and then you would come in like this here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit here and I'm gonna penetrate down with my head on the left and my knee coming down here and then my right leg in the back is actually gonna then transfer to make this shot a right-handed shot. So then it's gonna slide in. As it slides in, I've got my, my double leg, I've got my high crotch position, whatever you choose, uh, it's up to you from here. And then everything else is the same. It's just like your standard shot. So it looks weird, it looks like I'm adding steps to the shot. But if you watch a lot of Russians, uh, a lot of international guys, so the Americans do it as well. So um, you can see a lot of the Penn State wrestlers use this kind of penetration. And it's almost like a double penetration, like you need, that, that's a weird way to put it. Uh, it's kind of like you get, you get uh, more penetration because you're going in with your left and your right, okay? When I was in high school, I used to laugh when my coach would use that word. Anyway, so you can laugh too, okay? Whether you're in high school or not. Okay, so again, guys, so watch right here. I might just like level change, and then when I hit the shot, instead of the normal like this, okay, I'm gonna be coming in there, and then I'm coming up to finish. So again, notice how it kind of gives me a little extra. I'm here, level change, and then I'm coming up ready to finish. One more time on this angle. Okay, right here. Okay, I'm pulling the guy, pushing, pulling, setting this guy up, breaking that tie. Okay. And then taking him down. So, this is the shot that I have these guys working on right now. Trent and his brother Alex, so I'm gonna let, uh, I'm gonna let them show you guys a little bit of their drilling right now, but 
Trent, you have anything to add? You got different setups? Yeah, I got different kind of setups. Doing? Okay, so check check it out. Let me take this. So I kind of like a super duck. I yeah. I both my hands on this tricep and this other one. Yeah. Head to head, go to the right, step to, to the left, lift me down, drag me up, and drive. Yeah, that's sweet. See, that head movement is like a total fake. He doesn't even see it coming. These kids are faster than me. And then there's the one where I'm in my lefty stand. I'm moving them. Double with my right. Go back. And take them down. Yeah, so this... Again, it looks totally backwards to somebody that's only been shown how to shoot one way. This would look totally backwards. In fact, if you were to ask me this, you know, 15, 20 years ago, I probably would have said it's wrong. Like if somebody showed it to me, I was probably, my first thoughts are like, it's, you're off balance when you shoot. Go ahead, Alex, see what, see what yours look like. Do you have anything you'd like to do, Alex? Um, not really. I just did the same thing. I just want to come up to my feet. Yeah, so you like to Here. pop. You pop. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to show that drill. Maybe we'll show that drill on another video. See how he pops him right there from his knees. And again, when you guys see this shot, you're going to see a lot of two knees down. Again, something that was commonly always said don't do uh you know there's a lot of people who say don't put two knees down but there's also a lot of shots at high levels where you're going to see two knees on the mat for a split second it doesn't mean we go two knees on the mat and we just sit there but you penetrate you get under your opponent's center of gravity on two knees much like a fireman's carry right you guys do your fireman's uh two knees down yeah right two knees down you got an explosive fireman. So it's kind of similar. You're popping that, that double leg to two knees, little double knee drop, slide in there. And again, you notice they both have different styles. Trent likes to stand right up. And then Alex, go ahead and show him yours how you pop him. You slide in there two knees and you pop him right off his feet. Again, more similar to a, like a fireman's carry from the knees. So there's always variety, okay? And again, Trent's really been working on those legs, explosive hips. He's got a little more, little more age than, than Alex. Alex is only a freshman, but he's, uh, he's getting stronger every day. So, and Trent's a junior. All right, that's sweet. So that, that different kind of shot, um, again, let's show one last setup. Remember, like reach out with your left hand, just to kind of like a super duck, same thing. Reach out with the left hand, get the guy to reach, and then come in. Exactly. You guys watch uh, uh, Sitakov from, from Russia. He's one of the guys that kind of uses a, a reach. He'll reach, and then boom, come in on the shot. Again, if you guys check out the feet, let's keep doing it, guys, so they can look at the feet. It looks like the same shot, but it's not. It really is. It's not your traditional footwork. It's not your traditional entry. Again, I kind of... I don't really have a name for it personally, but I will say it's, it's reminiscent of back in the 90s, there was a wrestler named Kirk White. I told you guys about that, Boise State, and he was known for the goofy-footed double because he used to shoot like this. He would shoot with his, even though he was righty, he would shoot left leg first, head to the left, and he would reach actually with his left hand first. It, everything was like really awkward but he was taking guys down with it. That was always called the goofy foot of double by Kirk White, but nowadays everything's evolving. Um, a lot of guys are using this kind of footwork. So that's it. You got one more, Alex? Take your brother out one more time. All right, cool. All right, guys, thank you so much. Appreciate it, boys. Welcome. And we will see you next time. That's your, uh, your daily dose of wrestling. A uh, little bit of penetration, different style of penetration, you guys. You guys got to check that out and try it in your room. There's not just one way to shoot. There's multiple ways. I want you guys to go and take a look at some of the best guys in the, in the world 
and watch their feet and watch how they penetrate, watch how they shoot, and you're going to see that a lot of it is different than what's being taught. And I've been screaming about this for years, and I just, I never see anybody talking about the different footwork. It's starting to come out more and more as you guys have like flow wrestling. Um, the best guys in the nation and the world are starting to like teach videos and they're starting to show these different footwork things, but I just don't see it taught all that much uh, in a lot of videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, click the like and uh, share this video with everybody you know. Also, please contribute to this channel. If you go down to the description box, we've got a Patreon link and a PayPal link. If this video helped you, if you learned something from this video, please contribute, especially during this tough time while we're kind of shut down. I would appreciate your help if you can. So thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys next time. We're out. Try standing all the way up, Alex, on the next one. Try to stand all the way up. I know you're liking that finish where you just finish on your knees. Oh, up. Let's do it. Let's keep building those muscles. Maybe you gotta stay up, Trent. Yeah. A little. Give him a little half sprawl. Alex. Just like that. Let's just keep working it. It's all about getting that step, you know, like you push off your left and stand up to your right. Work on those muscles. Wah! Yes. Sometimes you can just pop up to your feet as quick as you can before you do the lift. Good. If you're strong enough to lift, then just lift right or straight away. But if you can't, just pop up to your feet as quick as you can. Pop. And then lift. Good. On the next one, try popping up to your feet and then do a pop. Then a, sec a second pop to lift him. <clears throat> couple more, couple more. Pop. Good. One more for you, Alex.
Nice job, boys. 